Yo, what's going on guys? Sinister Skater here going over today's Black Ops 4 update part 2 of Operation Apocalypse Z. It's actually officially titled Operation Apocalypse Z Survivors. We had new content added to the game including new weapons like the M16. A lot of stuff added to Blackout and actually a, a big multiplayer nerf for once with the Essex Stingray receiving a big nerf and a before and after little comparison for you later on in this video i want to start off with the playstation 4 stuff that is live right now as always the update is about 13 gigabytes in size on both uh, playstation 4 and xbox uh, so pretty hefty one here so make sure you download that early and with this uh part two of operation apocalypse z came new black market and new contraband streams you actually have a 60 tier contraband stream that has a uh, jump pack in it the the actually chef ajax skin that's been in some of the promotional items actually looks pretty cool uh it's like a unicycle emote spinal trap reactive camo and there's like actually an orange justice variance dance at some point and then at the end there is an ultra weapon bribe if you can get all the way up to tier 60. on top of that there were 197 items total added to the black market reserve system you'll see a little promo video playing right now there's two new weapons uh the m16 which actually is a tactical rifle not an assault rifle in black ops 4 and the javelina double a 50 sniper rifle which is actually supposed to be really good it's like a semi auto paladin uh, which is really really powerful those new weapons are locked behind reserves or ultra weapon bribes you can't earn them directly as of right now maybe that'll change in the future who knows this is black ops 4 uh, on top of that they also added a new mastercraft weapon variant this is the swat rft temple of boom the s6 stingray peacekeeper and tiger shark all got mark ii variants uh there's four new weapon camos and there's a new death effect 50 new charms seven outfits and then there is one jump pack added to reserves there's no new blackout characters any emotes or any war paints that were added there to reserves this time still on playstation 4 stuff that's live right now and blackout they added a tactical bike vehicle uh, this is the motorcycle we saw with m shadows in that original op operation apocalypse z uh reveal trailer there's the new pandemic limited time mode in blackout live right now this is 80 player battle royale infected with a little twist on. i'm not sure this has been done before or not it's battle royale someone becomes infected all those infected zombies have super speed they can jump higher they can track enemies through walls they can see survivor pulses on the mini map they don't take fall damage they can stay underwater longer but they cannot heal kind of sounds op but not really because the blackout map's huge uh, these zombies also have two hell's retrievers which act as normal tomahawks not like the boomerangs in actual zombies gameplay and they pretty much have to punch people to death which makes it a little bit harder to actually go one-on-one -on -one with someone you probably want to gang up on people in this pandemic mode because i believe everyone has normal health pools zombies also will respawn every 15 seconds in the mode the last thing in blackout alcatraz horde is gone it's replaced with normal alcatraz so xbox players like me should enjoy that if you guys do enjoy alcatraz horde it's gonna be uh, leaving next week uh, like it is on PlayStation 4 this week. As for multiplayer, there's a new limited time mode available on PlayStation 4. It's called Infected Final Stand, which is like this weird search and rescue, search and destroy variant of like Infected. There's survivors and zombies, which are their pre-made teams, and they switch off every round. The survivors get to choose from preset classes, and the teams are even, I believe, and they all have one life, but they can also revive someone if they go down, which I'm not sure exactly how that works uh the zombies all have bowie knives and combat axes and a limited amount of respawns so i assume the zombies down enemies and they have to kill them again it, it doesn't sound too practical on paper so i'm curious to see what the actual gameplay looks like uh but yeah that's a thing live right now and also there is a new duck and cover gauntlet live on playstation 4 for the alpha omega map moving on to the changes live on all platforms let's talk about this s16 ray nerf in multiplayer so they nerfed the operator mod finally it's been in the game for two months now maybe and i just did a video uh using the s16 Stingray operator mod for the first time ever a link in the card right now uh it 
ended up being pretty OP and they finally nerfed it. So what they did is they reduced the two hit kill range by 10 meters. So it still can one burst people, but the range at which it can do that has been reduced. They also slightly reduced the explosive damage so it won't splash onto other enemies. And the most important thing here is they slowed the fire rate, which I haven't used this yet. I'll show you guys uh, fire rate comparisons in a second here, but it seems like it will really change how the weapon feels with the operator mod. So I'll show you what the S6 Stingray's normal fire rate is, and this is what it was with the operator mod pre-patch. That fire rate is still the same without the operator mod, but when you put the operator mod on now, the fire rate is like this. So with the reduced damage at range, you're also going to have to track your enemies much better now, which will be really hard because uh, this weapon is a projectile weapon. It will just make this operator mod much harder to use, especially at range. You'll probably be able to run up in someone and hit fire them with laser sight or in close quarter situations, still one shot people. You'll have to make sure you're hitting both your shots. But at long range, this thing is probably not going to perform like it used to at all. If you guys use the brand new Damon Mastercraft weapon that was recently added, there was a bug that prevented that weapon from actually leveling up. That bug has now been squashed. In Blackout, the Raygun Mark II has been added to the mystery box. The Raygun Mark II has also in Zombies been added to the Blood of the Dead and Classified map mystery boxes. They also added more wall by weapons in certain Blackout Zombies locations, and they reduced the number of rockets required to blow up vehicles in blackout which i was under the impression that all vehicles already blew up in one shot let me know what vehicle didn't blow up in one rocket before i know the helicopter got blew up right away but i don't know maybe like the armored truck maybe let me know down below in the comments guy honestly i thought everything blew up in one rocket and last but not least they added zombies inspired easter eggs to the blackout map both blackout maps no clue what that means people have to search around to find them they could be cool they could be dumb who knows uh, oh, last, I forgot to mention, uh, the last thing in Zombies is the Reverse C86 Crossbow, the Argus, and the Locust all got damage buffs in the Zombies game mode, so those weapons shouldn't be garbage like they were previously. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that was exciting, everything new, everything you need to know in Update 1.22, that one live earlier today, Operation Apocalypse Z Part 2 code name survivors that's gonna be it for this video hopefully you found it informative hopefully you enjoyed it if you did hit that like button consider subscribing and turn on that bell notification so you get notified when my videos go live links down below in the description for 10 percent off control freaks as well as awesome into the aim apparel you also find my amazon associates link down there for when you shop through that link and help support my channel that way but again thanks for watching guys my name is sinister skater and i'll catch you guys on the next video peace out